Browning version is a play by Terence Rattigan, which, although set in the 1950s and about a rather fusty old public schoolmaster, is still very relevant today. Um, I went to see it last night. It was, um, the lead character, Mr. Crocker Harris, was wonderfully played by Nicholas Fram, um, who really evoked um, the life of this schoolmaster. The story is quite simple. Uh, Mr. Crocker Harris is about to retire, um, but on grounds of ill health, um, but receives no pension from the private school that he's at. Um, because basically this private school like bullying him. Um, his wife is a bit younger than him and quite attractive and has been having quite a few affairs with the schoolmasters and really seems to uh, hate her husband. Um, and this is a fundamental setup. Um, it's the very last day uh, of Crocker Harris's uh, term and, and time at the school and he's visited by a pupil who is hoping to get promoted to another class um, but can't do so until he's got given Croc Harris's uh, say-so. Croc Harris has put the pupil in detention for not doing his Greek translation correctly and um, the pupil and Croc Harris talk about um, the translation he has to do of Aeschylus' Agamemnon which uh, fittingly, ironically, is about a woman who murders her husband um, and that becomes sort of relevant in the story. So that's a basic setup. Um, the key turning point in the story is when the pupil gives a gift of um, to Robert Browning's translation of the Agamemnon to Crocker Harris. Crocker Harris interprets this gift in the best possible light to begin with, believing the pupil has understood um, his teaching and has appreciated this piece of literature and has appreciated him. And he's very moved by this present and he actually cries at the pupil giving it. And this is a world, of course, where people don't express their emotions. Um, you can watch the YouTube clip of the Michael Redgrave um, and the pupil uh, giving the book um, in a minute if you want to after finishing this video. Um, it's a turning point but it's a brilliant turning point because later on we realise and we're told by the wife that actually the pupil has given this book purely so he can get promoted to another class. So in other words the book has actually got an ulterior motive behind it or has it. We never quite know that answer. It's always left dangling to us. It's a key point and it creates sort of layers of irony and layers of tragedy within the story. This small gift seems to either symbolise all that's worst about Crocker Harris's life, the fact that he's being used constantly by the institution, by his wife, by the pupils, or He's actually been given something, or is it a bit of both? Um, and the end of the play is very powerful because Croc Harris, despite his ill health, despite the fact that he's going to get no pension, finds a redemption in reflecting upon his teaching and his life. Um, and it's very powerfully written by Terence Rattigan, very understated. Um, a drama, but it says something I think about teaching today that's still relevant because for all of the difficulties and the institutional sort of nightmares of teaching there's always a redemption even if you feel your pupils don't appreciate you there's a redemption in the act of teaching itself and there's a redemption in sort of reflecting on it, perhaps what one has achieved as a teacher even if one feels that you've failed constantly there's always a redemption and I feel it is a play that our politicians should watch with an eye because many teachers like me do feel like we've failed constantly we're told that we've failed and it is important to focus, I think, on the positive um, when reflecting on what you're doing because that's the only 
way you sort of get better and grow and learn as a person.